children, adults, grandparents, people of all ages. You might be a cat, you might be a dog, or anything between, or an inanimate object. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, those online penny auction bids that you may see ads for from time to time. Um, I'm not going to tell you not to do it, uh, but I will tell you um, to use your head when you do one of those if you so choose. Um, just myself personally, I wouldn't wouldn't do it, but others of you, others of you might. Um, anyway, the the penny auction bids online. So you're you're seeing something advertised where you can get a five hundred dollar iPad for forty dollars. Oh sweet. I can make a four hundred sixty dollar deal on something. Well not exactly. Of course, with any kind of bargains like that, and this goes for retail stores as well, you've got to ask yourself what strings are attached? What's the catch? Because there's always going to be one when you have some kind of bargain like that. Uh, just like if in a in a uh, an ad that you get in the newspaper showing that you can get this uh, 22 inch monitor for fifty dollars, and then really tiny print after mail-in rebates, and if you buy this item and that item and this item, so. It's not always exactly um, as easy as you would like to think it is. So use your common sense. Anytime you look at any kind of sale or bargain or any ads, read the fine print. Because you get caught off guard a lot of times if you don't. Uh, so anyway, back to the penny auction thing. Here's how it works. This is how it can actually be sold for $40 for like a $500 iPad. Okay. And these penny auction bids, every bid of course is a penny and it starts at a penny for the actual auction. But here's the thing, you need to buy bids to be able to bid. Okay, so you can't just go on there and, oh, I'll put a penny. You can't do that, you have to buy bids. So, let's just say that each bid is 25 cents that you buy. So let's say you buy 100 bids. You just spent 25 bucks on 100 bids. You can use those 100 bids however you want, but they're like tokens. It's like, you know, it, it, in a way, this is actually gambling, is what, in my opinion, that uh, online penny auctions are. It's basically gambling because you're spending money to buy bids, or tokens, as I'm going to call it, and at the end of the day, you may win, or you may have spent all your tokens and won nothing. But like I said, you can spend these bids however you want. You don't have to use all of them on one item to try to win something. Uh, you don't have to use it on that day. Uh, but you're spending 25 cents for a bid. So really, each time you're bidding, you're spending 25 cents just to place a bid. And that's not to guarantee you that you're going to win the item. Okay? So now, if you start thinking about it a little bit further, now it starts to make sense, theoretically, how these companies can sell a $500 iPad for 40 bucks. Because, let's think about this. $40, that is 4,000 bids because they're all a penny. You take 40 times 100, that's 4,000, okay? You're paying 25 cents a bit. So there's a thousand dollars right there in just bids. In just bids, there's a thousand dollars plus Jeremy Payne, whoever is the very lucky person to win it, is going to spend forty dollars for the iPad or whatever it ends up being. So now all of a sudden, this company or and there's several of these companies. So I'm just saying this company in general. I'm not saying a company in specific. Uh, now this company just got $1,040. $1,040. Now, 
So now that's how much they so that's how much money they're actually getting. So they made a little over a five hundred dollar profit on a five hundred dollar iPad, even though the winner only pay, spay, or pay spade. That's a totally different subject. Um, even though the winner only paid forty dollars for the iPad, of course, probably plus shipping and plus whatever money they spent on the bids. And that's if you are lucky enough to win it. Remember, that's 4,000 bids on a $40 iPad. So that's 4,000, uh, potentially 4,000 people that could be bidding on it. Now, theoretically, there's probably quite a few people that have bid more than once on it, so there's probably not 4,000, but still. So your chances are actually probably pretty slim that you'll actually be the winner, unless you know how to play the game real well. I, I don't. I haven't ever done it before, but I have seen it. I've seen people do this before. So far, I haven't seen anybody win, except for win more bids for a, a cheaper price than you would normally just go in and buy them for. Uh, but anyway, uh, so be cautious when you do those. It's not a guarantee you're going to get that forty-dollar iPad. Or a you know forty dollar iPad when it's normally five hundred. It's just a luck of the draw kind of thing. You gotta know how to play the game. You gotta know when to bid. And see, it doesn't. These a lot of these I don't think have a specific time that the the auction ends. It's just when the bidding had when no one's bid in twenty seconds or something like that, then it's over. So it's not really a set time of when the, 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 the bidding ends. It's just whenever no one has bid on it for 20 seconds straight, then it's over. So even if you're the last person to bid, you got to sit there and wait 20 seconds and hope somebody else doesn't come and bid you up. 20 seconds is a lot of time when you have hundreds of people sitting on there waiting to see if they can snatch it. So anyway, that's just my advice on it. Uh, again... Your mileage may vary, but personally, I don't think I'd want to do it. But that's just my my opinion, because I am JoJo the Monkey Boy, as we all know. So, anyway, so yeah, that's how those work. So, while it, yeah, theoretically, you could be making a, a good deal on that. Uh, for some reason, it makes my it looks makes me look red right there. So, uh, I think it's because my lighting's kind of off right now. Uh, anyway, um, so that's how they can sell a $40 iPad that would normally be $500. And likewise for laptops, TVs, anything like that. It'll all be the same way. And like I said, I haven't seen anyone win yet except for more bids. And I haven't seen very many people do it, so I don't have a lot of credibility on that. Uh, but but just remember, you're basically gambling when you're doing one of those, because you're spending money to bid, and there's no guarantee you're going to win the item. To me, it sounds like gambling. But anyway, so this is Nerd Ngong, and I approve this message. As I always do, always will, in the present and in the future, and I did in the past as well. And no one elected me, as you already know, so I'm still in this chair. Anyway, uh, I think that'll do it for now. And uh, by the way, I could use some more suggestions still for tips, because I still don't have really any. So I'm kind of going as the crow flies, the shortest distance possible uh, for. Uh, tips. If I think of something, I bring it up, and this would be one of those cases. So anyway, this is Nerd Long, and I approve this message. Bye-bye.